So today we're going to be taking a look at the second release of Dr. Afra in the Black Series 6-inch line. It's an action figure that people I think have been excited for. Um, if you know anything about the original Dr. Afra figure, this one right here that we'll be taking a look at as well here in a little bit. Uh, it's gotten pretty expensive in recent years. It's um, I think at the time it was one that people underestimated. They thought, oh, I'll get it later. Oh, that won't be a big hit. And it turns out it was. Um, I distinctively recall getting this Dr. Afra and uh, BT, her astromech droid, for about $35 combined at the time. And now, for whatever reason, the price has really blown up on the Afra crew between her and her two droids with her. Uh, so far, I don't think Hasbro has any plans to release her two other droids as maybe companion pieces for the, this action figure. It would be nice if um, they got released in the archive line. I think a lot of people would love that, uh, but I don't really see it happening anytime soon. It's a great action figure. I really like this version of Afra. It's, um, she's a character I haven't followed too closely. I do know a little bit of her backstory in the comic books from recent years, and it's so far it seems somewhat interesting. Uh, but as far as the details of her character, I'm not too sure. Of. She just seems like a great background character to have in the collection. And she can fit with anybody, really. She can fit with the Rebels. She can fit with the Empire. Uh, I do know she does work for Darth Vader directly in the comic books. So it's a pretty interesting character all around. But anyways, we'll take a look at the package here first. So at the time of this video, she was just recently released. I just got her in the mail a couple days ago. And part of the next wave of the comic book figures were getting the Black Series line. Getting a lot of good gems finally, like uh, Mary Jade, who I'll be reviewing next. Nice image of Afra there. Not sure who that is. Um, I'm going to guess it's some Jedi of some sorts. Frozen in what looks like a, a kyber crystal or some, or some type of crystal of some sorts. I'm not too familiar exactly which comic this Afra is from. Personally, for me, I'll point this out is right now. I consider this like the Amelia Earhart Dr. Afra. This outfit she's wearing looks exactly like something Amelia Earhart would wear. Like a 1920s or 30s pilot. It's a nice package and you open it up and this is actually the very first pa windowless package that I've gotten and so far I can't say I've been too impressed with it. Uh, reason being is a lot of times I don't have time to open up my action figures immediately after I get them. Uh, so sometimes they can stay in the box for several weeks but now with this windowless package I feel like I have to check immediately because I want to make sure all the accessories are there, all the paint apps look good. And I, I just find this really disappointing. I like looking at my action figure as soon as I open it. And now it's, um, a lot of that magic's gone with it. So I can't really see this windowless package being a big hit for, uh, Hasbro. Another nice image of Afra there. The bio there. Some other images of Afra there from the comic. Then a quick showcase of the action figure, a couple other images, basically showing off exactly what she all comes with. And I do like this that uh, Hasbro notes her exact height. Um, of course, six inch figures aren't all exactly six inches, so they're all scaled to what their proportion should be, so Afro is 5.8 inches. So I think that's a really nice detail that Hasbro's adding after there and I'll show this as well exactly what the package looks like in the inside so if you take this out the weapons and accessories are included in this tab in this paper here and then the figure itself is wrapped up in this paper which you can see says Star Wars Black Series on it Personally, I don't like this at all. 
We'll find out soon how successful this will be for Hasbro. If it will be a hit for them or not. Personally, I don't think it will be. So that's the package. Now for the action figure itself. So for all intents and purposes, I think this is pretty much the same exact afro that we got last time. This one right here. Other than uh, the coat. And I think there are some facial differences as well. You can see a photo reel is slightly different. I can't really say one's better than the other. This one looks a little more smoother. This one looks a little more glossy. The original does. But I think look, both look just fine. As you can see, there are some paint differences. Or, uh, headgear there and their goggles. And of course now she has a scarf with this action figure. Pants are about the same. Uh, as far as I know I think she's borrowing a lot of tooling from the Jaina Solo figure. At least from the legs that is. As you can see with the pins there it's obviously in older Black Series figure. Belt's a little bit different color, a little bit different detailing it looks like. Like this has like the silver pin there while this one doesn't. So for the articulation for Afro, it's the same exact thing we've been getting with all Black Series figures. She does have a hinged neck, then hinged shoulders, hinged elbows, hinged wrists as well. I think, yeah, this one goes in and out, and this one goes in and out as well. So they're both, both wrists are the same motion. Uh, hinged torso, really good range there. Then of course, hinged hips, swivel thigh double hinged knees with the two pins there then uh, the rocker ankles as well and both figures are the same exact thing for articulation in terms of accessories she's very light on them she just comes with her blaster pistol here nothing really too exciting about that there is a lot of nice detailing in this kind of reminds you of Hot and Solo's blaster a little bit And it does fit in her holster here pretty well. It stays in the place. And it fits nicely in her hand. And her finger fits around the trigger there. Another unique feature about Afra here is you can take off her headgear. Unfortunately, you can't move the goggles at all or put them on her. Closer look at her hair sculpt there. Everything looks pretty good. I do one thing I do like is how they have her hair waving over her eyebrow there, where you can't really see it. But I'm pretty sure that Hasbro sculpted the entire head, and then the hairpiece was put on separately afterwards. So I think that's pretty nice detailing on Hasbro's part. And I'm sure you can take off her coat here. I'm not going to because it'd be really complicated, I think. And of course, her scarf here you can take off as well. Just have her like that if you want to. But personally, for me, I'm probably going to leave it on. Uh, but other than that, I think that's really all there is to say about this action figure. Uh, as far as this Afro is concerned, I'll review her with her two other droids in a separate video at some point. But I just kind of want to show now exactly how both look side by side. So another important question, would I recommend getting this Afro or this one? I think they're both great in their own way. And if you manage to get this one, getting this one's not really necessary. Uh, if you already have this one... Would I recommend getting this one? Only if you want to. If you're content having one for your collection, having one or the other is perfectly fine. 
But overall, this is a really nice Dr. Afro action figure. She is pretty pricey, uh, $27.99 I think is her going rate. And basically, she's an online exclusive. Then if you factor in all the taxes and the shipping, you're probably going to be spending almost $40 for this action figure. She's definitely not worth a $40 action figure. But if she's an important character for your collection or you're interested in the character and... Uh, in any way do you want this action figure for your collection i would recommend it then so anyways that concludes this review i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for more reviews in the future there will be plenty more to come and if you have not already please like the video and subscribe to the channel i greatly appreciate all the support and check out the instagram link in the description as well more will be coming on that soon and thanks for watching